When I first saw you, I had to hold my feelings back. But I was in tears under my mask. What do you think of Robin, Lucina? Too close to my father. Too suspicious. But pretty hot, too. Who is your sibling? My brother. He's the Crown Prince of Ulysse. I wish I knew where he was right now. Have you ever tried using other kinds of weapons other than swords? I tried, Lance. My father only taught me about swords. But I hope one day he'll teach me about the lance as well. What is your best trait about yourself, Lucina? Her beauty. It blinds the enemies so she can kill them easier. <laughs> what? Morgan! What are you doing with your father in your spare time? Besides sword training. Before he died, we spent a lot of time training together. And now he's here and alive. I'm so glad. We might do something else, like... Laundry? It's been such a long time since I've spent time with him. I didn't think this over yet. Maybe he'll walk? To be honest, I'm fine with anything, as long as I'm with him. How long do you practice in a day? I start the day with a warm-up, then after breakfast, I train alone for a longer time, unless I break something. I clean up and take a break or help with cooking lunch. After lunch, I help around the camp how I can, and take a rest before I ask my father or anyone to train with me. In the evening, I help make dinner. After dinner, I train alone until sleep time. I try at least three times. The time for training session could be different each day. Why not try becoming friends with Robin? That way, you can see if for yourself he truly is Crom's murderer or not. Let me try to speak with Robin first. Good evening, Robin. Might I have a word with you? Hello, Lucina. What can I do for you? There's something important to you about... Only to you. That sounds a bit ominous. Specifically, it's about the future events of my own terrible time. I've told my tale before, but I want you, more than anyone, to understand its importance. I see. Please, continue. In the future, almost no corner of the world is safe for humans. Risen prowl the land as the master of all. The people cower in terror, helpless. It sounds like a nightmare come true. I can scarce imagine it. It's a hell on earth. That's why we cannot... We must not lose this war! Do you see that? You must ensure that Krom and this brave army avert catastrophe. I will do everything in my power, Lucina. I swear it. I will never stop fighting for you, and for Krom, and all the people of the world. That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you, Robin. I should have asked Robin to stop lurking around my father. What if Robin tries to seduce father to get even closer to him? I can't let that happen! Lucina! And Robin. Do you like the mask on or off? On! You may call me Mark. Now I see where Morgan inherited such a... childish personality. Anyway... The mask was for one purpose. To hide my eye and identity. Since I revealed myself to everyone, I prefer not to wear it in battle. However, I love it, so... I might wear it for some occasion. I am the Vengeance! I am the Knight! I am Batman! Ignore them. They are trolling you. Oh, thank you, Jerome. Um, who was that small blue-haired child that stole one of your answers? It was Morgan. I'm sorry for their childish acts. So, Lucina, who is your mother? My mother is a beautiful woman. She's even prettier than I remembered her. I am nothing like her. My brother is more like our mother. He likes what she likes. 
They're both similar in personalities, but I'm glad to be with her once again. Was. She isn't the mother you knew. She is dead. You can't trust her. Which of your friends are you the closest to? The one you know always has your back? The one you feel like you can let your guard down and talk to him about anything when it's just the two of you? Only my close family. My cousin, my brother. The first person was my father, who I told about everything. I shared some secrets with him. Only him. But it was still the peaceful times. But after his death, only me and my brother left. And Owain, of course. I tried to stay close to them, and protect them, and they did the same toward me. Do you like Kitten? Aww. Yeah. In my horrible time, we had no time for keeping a pet. Our first priority was staying alive, and the only animals we had were horses, wyverns, and some cows or some pigs. I always wished to keep a cat. If the future is to be safe again, I will try and get some pets. Some cats, maybe some dogs as well. What are you most afraid of? I have to admit, I am scared of Grima. Also, seeing my father's death, I think they're obvious to guess anyway. I should not share any of my other fears to anyone due to the possibilities he might be a spy or an- ah! Go away, you monster! Hey Lucy, have any of your friends from the future arrived yet? Some, like Jerome, have been found. I was responsible for their safety to arrive here, however, I've lost them as we crossed. We probably arrived in a different timeline. I was looking for them myself for the past two years with no luck. I'm hopeful, since I joined my father and his army, that we'll be able to find them all sooner or later. Surely you can trust Sir Frederick the Wary. He is honor-bound to protect the royal family, and you're part of the royal family. I agree on that. He was the most loyal to my father and me. I can't not trust him. He was like a second nanny to me. He took care of me since I was little. He played with me when my father was busy. Milady, please. You aren't allowed to go in there. You have to wait until the council is over. And he fought by my side. He died to protect me. Those horrible memories. Why are you so pretty? Thank you? I'm not sure if this is a question I can answer. I might have inherited some beauty from my mother. Lucy, would you ever try to learn to dance? I've had studies and lessons of different subjects. Even art, dance, and music. <laughs> Sadly, I wasn't very talented. But my brother was. I'd love to support him to pursue his dream of the war ends. I will stay with my sword. It is said that the Lowell family have excellent biceps. So do you think we can get a ticket to the gun show? You should take off that hood. It hides your face, cutie. <laughs> I'm Ketu. Nice to meet you, Soleil. Thank you for the tea. If I think you mean when you win. I wish I could say that.
Who's the better swordsman? You, your brother, or your cousin? Ha! Huh. It is I, the legendary hero who might claim this title with honor of my blood. Aw. Who's gonna tell him? Lucina, I hope this letter reaches you in fair health. I am a traveler of worlds and times, one you know very well, sending this letter from the near future. But I cannot say who I am, dear Lucina, for I am traveling under a new identity. I wish only to say, do not give up hope. You shall defeat Grimma and set the world right. And I have worked out a deal along with two of our other friends and a mysterious fellow from another world. But you'll find out about that soon enough, Laszlo. Who is Laszlo? I don't know anyone called Laszlo. Wait, isn't Laszlo the alias of my... Psh, look at her. It gave her hope. It made her smile. Aww. So we know Lucy and Anigo's brand locations, but where's Soleil's? Also, what is it like to be an aunt, Lucina? Where is your brand, Soleil? Let me show you. Are you? Wow! You can't dress down in the middle of camp. But it's on my upper back. Have you sparred seriously with Long Q since you defeated him at Regna Ferox? What is it like to fight him during training as Lucina and not Marth? He always runs off before I can ask him. This is the Camp Logistics Officer speaking. I've noticed that the fig supply is dangerously low. I've already informed the Lord Commander about the issue, yet he redirected me to the Royal Tacticianess, as His Majesty said it was her area of expertise. Since you're here right now, you wouldn't happen to know anything about the matter, would you? Thank you for your report. I'll go talk to her right away. If you'll excuse me now. Rafflet, there's something important we need to- Hmm? Tell us what you think of your niece solely, Lucinda. She is a lot like how I used to be. Stop it! Come on! It'll be fun! When I was little. But... I had to grow up too fast. Verily, I say, I say unto you, you, the era of the dragon's dragon shadow is nigh. The time of madness, and the time of contempt. The world will die amidst the darkness, and be reborn of the fallen blood of the fell dragon. A seed which will not sprout, but burst into flame. Thus it shall be. Watch for the signs. What signs these shall be, I say unto you. The earth will flow with the noble blood. The blood of the exiles. <laughs> no. No. Can't happen. Not again. Your baby self. That must be awkward. Isn't she, I mean, me, adorable? Yes. You are really cute, Lucina. Huh? What? So, say your baby self reaches your age, are you like, an older sister to her or something? Or, wait, do you even age actually? I mean, with the effects of time travel and stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't. I didn't grow since I was 16, but I matured over those years. I think I aged like anyone. In these two years I've arrived, only my hair grew. Only my hair. <sighs> Lucina, I've heard that Robin prefers those with smaller chests. So, wink, wink. He likes what? I doubt it. You say it to give me hope because I like him. Wait, what am I saying? Oh, God. This feeling. It can't be. I... I'm in love with him? Hey, Lucinda. Kisses her forehead. How are you doing? Will you promise me to take better care of yourself? <laughs> For you, yes. Ah, a relief to hear. And a relief from me that you care. Thank you, Father. Huh? huh? 
So you called Robin father? Wow, I didn't think you were so kinky. Uh, no, 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 you, you misunderstand it. Lucy, I think you and Robin would make such a cute couple. Why did I call him father? He must think I only think of him like a father now. Father? <sighs> Robin! You have to man up. You have to become Lucina's daddy. Just not in front of Krom. Oh, Lucina, how can I tell you how I feel about you? What is your true feelings about me? Dada! Lucina, did you too just call me that? Well, I think I can be your daddy if you want me to. I think she calls for me, Robin. Uh, uh... Dada! Just set things straight with Robin. Tell him how you feel. Dodging around the issue won't make things harder. Robin, are you in here? We need to talk. <sighs> Lucina! I should just leave you two alone. Maybe next time. Or never again. Who are Morgan's parents? I remember everything about my father, but nothing I can recall from my mother. I try my best to get those memories back. But Dad says I look a lot like the one he fancies. She must be my mother. I must remember. A few inches later. I feel so dizzy. Sweetie? Lucina, it's not too late. You can still fix this. Approach and tell him that your father said the exact same thing in your timeline. And you weren't thinking. That should work. If it doesn't, just kiss him. We need to talk. I agree. I'm sorry about Tharja. Not about that. I am really sorry to call you father. I didn't mean to. And I'm sorry I ran off. Twice. It's fine, Lucina. I understand. Krom is the most important person to you. And he was the one who cared for you. And that memory was in your head when you said that. I must be pretty important to you as well, to make you call me father. Yes, but... but... Huge mistake. I shouldn't have done it. He looks so cute in his sleep. <laughs> I love you, Robin. Sleep well. I have no clue what will happen next. I can't ask Father for advice. Congrats, Congrats on, the sex. on the sex. Watch your cake! Stop teasing me for being the last! How did you get to be so cute? All of your cuteness must come from your mother. And you have the same cuteness. We share the same blood, you know. Dear Lucinda, is it possible that your feelings for Robin might in fact stem from the memories you had for him when you were a child? I imagine that you see him just as much as you did with your father. And there tends to be cases where children develop crushes in those scenarios. Lucinda, do you have any memories of Robin from your time when you were little? <gasps> You're amazing, Robin. Thank you, little princess. Father, when I grow up, I want to be a beautiful bride, a bride warrior, and I will be Robin's wife. Oh, yeah? Lord Crom did not make it, and Robin is still missing. The Queen's life is in danger. She might not make it. You must tell the bad news to the Prince and Princess, my lady. I can remember now. How... How could I forget about him? He... was always with me, too.
Don't worry, Lucina. Your secret is safe with us. Robin deserves you, and only you. Just Lucina. Thank you. Let's keep it a secret for now. Robin will understand. Hey, Robin! How did you react to Lucina being gone in the morning? Were you upset? Happy with what happened? Scared Krom is gonna murder you when and if he finds out? <sighs> it's better if nobody knows about this yet. I'll never regret this. Hey, where's your tiara? What? Robin, Krom needs you now. Hmm, he isn't here. <laughs> this is Lucina's. Why is this here? In Robin's tent? Did you leave your tiara at Robin's tent? What if Chrome finds it? What will Chrome think if he finds out that you have feelings for his best friend? Robin, glad I found you. Have you seen my tiara? I checked my tent and yours, but it's nowhere to be found. Sorry, but no. What if Father found it in your tent? How am I gonna tell him everything? Everything's going too fast. I need time. Don't panic. We'll find it. Dear Lucina, I've had trouble writing this letter. Went through many drafts and wasted some paper. To which my superiors chastised me, not that it matters anymore. And, well, it's pretty hard to write this. The others say you and your friends are dead. I don't believe them. But that means something else. If I made it through, then I will explain. However, if you just got this letter, then I must say this here briefly. Don't come back. There's nothing left here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we failed. I pray you're okay. This is the most dirtiest trick I've seen done. Don't you dare hurt her. In any way, you'll have to face me! Have you tried talking to Olivia for some motherly advice? Mother, can we talk about some materials that we never had time to discuss before? Something only a mother can tell her daughter. You died before I could reach the age for it. Of course, honey. What is it? Sex. Oh dear, that's a very sensitive topic. But it's my duty, isn't it? <laughs> that is not correct. Oh, and if you're not careful, you can get pregnant. Now, I think that's all the tricks I know to avoid pregnancy. Gods. Lucina? So, we don't know who Morgan's mother is. And you just slept with Robin. Isn't there a possibility of you being... Pregnant with little Morgan? Hey, Lucina. Don't you think Morgan sort of resembles you a little? How strange. Mm. I always dreamed of having a baby, but not now. This can't be happening yet. Well, that's certainly awkward. About the only thing I can suggest here is that you pray to all the gods that it wasn't that point in a, a cycle. According to my mother's tips to avoid pregnancy, I broke all of them. We did it all without thinking. Followed our instincts. I'm in that part of my cycle. Was this... meant to happen? Morgan has to be born eventually. This world is safe and now everything is getting better. The future is changing. My dream... can finally become true. That'll kill us both if he finds this out. <laughs> um, dear Jerome, this is the logistics officer speaking. It appears that Lucina's tiara has gone uh, missing, and if you were to find it, you are to hand it directly over to me. There is no reason to report this to Lord Commander or to Her Highness. This is a matter of logistics, and I will personally deal with this issue. Understand? I'm not sure this is your business, officer. Maybe Tharja can use a hexaph on your tiara? Tharja, 
Can I request something? I would gladly erase his and your memories about last night. But getting rid of that, if it's there, could take a while. There's no need for that. I can handle this. I need help to find my... Wait! How do you know about... those? I know everything about him. Uh... Robin's pull-out game is kind of weak. That's uh, more of a statement, not a question, but... I, I guess I'll have many kids. Kill you? Nah, Kron doesn't have the heart for that. I mean, you're his daughter. Robin, though, he might want to find the quickest way out to save his own skin. After he makes sure you're fine with him leaving, of course. Robin running away from father. <laughs> that would be way too funny to witness. <laughs> Wait, what? If he dares leave me, it's going to be me who will end him. I find it difficult to believe Inigo had sex before you. Now that I think about it, who on earth would sleep with the Wayne? I couldn't believe it when he first told me. Why are you looking at me? Hey Robin, how are you and Krom's duties separated? Uh, to my understanding, isn't a tactician and a commander usually the same thing? They're not. I do the plans, the tactics, and the calculations for the next battles. Krom only has to accept them. His main duty is to make my plans work in fights, order people, and talk to the army and help encourage them to fight. We are two halves of a whole, as Krom describes it. be my ally? Or do you long for death? The choice is yours. M marry me? To Krom and Olivia. Lucina finally kissed Robin, and then some. He did what? Oh my. Salel, has a tea date ever gone that bad for you? Yes, one time. It's awkward to fall for the same trick as my father. Waking up in a bed of a guy was even worse. I still don't know how it happened because I was with a girl. <laughs> One time on the Somme Noir. Uh, I, I shouldn't go there. <laughs> Ever. So, Jerome, how long do you plan on holding on to Lucina's crown? Jerome, give the tiara back to Lucina and make sure that Krom doesn't learn where you found it. Lucina will explain why when the time is right. Just don't press the issue. There she is. I'll give it back right away. I wasn't planning on keeping it anyways. Hey, Lucina! I think I saw Jerome holding something shiny as he was making his way through camp. Do you think he might have found it? Hey, where's your headband? Hey, Lucina. I just noticed you weren't wearing your tiara. Did you lose it? Hey, Lucina. How many people have noticed that your tiara is missing? <laughs> Maybe Inigo can help. I know he may not be the greatest for love advice, but he is your brother. I never thought I would ask you for love advice, since that date you did for me. But that date ended well. It did, but... Want me to get you a second date with him? No need. Just a few questions. I would like you to tell me more. How did you and Reflet tell Father you two are in love? And did you wait for the wedding night, or did you do it with her before? You did it? Wow, you are fast. Well, we did a few times. But only after a couple dates, and she told Dad. It all has happened so fast. What should I do now? Did Can you help? Did you leave your tiara in his tent? I thought, but when I went to his tent, it was nowhere. Lucina, to be... you dropped it. I know it is important to you. Be careful. Thank you. You're the best. <sighs> How can he be better at love than me? Hey, Lucina. I think Jerome might have a crush on you. Oh, I see. He finally got over his fear, left his women and did it. All the nagging I did finally worked. What are you talking about? He always had a crush on you. He even told me. Why do you think I got you a date with him? You liked him too. You said you did it with him. No, me and Jerome are only friends. Or I thought we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> it was Robin. I know I shouldn't have, but he looks so perfect. Yet at least I shouldn't trust him. Our mission is not over, Inigo. 
He still could be the one who kills father, and we need to stop him. I made a mistake and let my guard down. I need to find out more about him. I have to kill the one who might be father's killer, and I shouldn't hesitate. Even if it's Robin, but... Lu Lucina. Huh? 